Here we are under the boat when the boat is capsized. It's possible to see that there is a lot of breathable air under the cockpit. So it's possible to untie yourself if you are locked somewhere. And after that, you exit from the boat and you start to turn your boat. This is a traditional technique to turn up your boat when you capsize. First of all, you have to put your weight, your center of gravity, out as is possible. After that, you will climb the center board, keeping your center of mass always as far as possible from the hull, moving and putting your foot at the end of the center board and keeping your center of gravity far. Easily the boat will turn up. So after you check that everything is right, you can start again sailing. In heavy wind condition, it's better to use the Eskimo technique. In this situation, you will have the top of the mast in the windward side, so the wind will help you to turn the boat when the wind hurts the cockpit. So you just need to wait, keeping tight the end of the centerboard, and go under the water and under the boat and stop the boat with your hand preventing another capsize. Here we are in standing still position. The tiller is in the left direction, the mainsail is easy, the weight is windward side and the vang is off. Now we want to start a boat. Let's be away, pull the vang and the other regulations and hook on and pull the mainsail. Start to go out with the weight a little bit backwards. When the boat starts, move fast and soon forward, pulling completely the mainsail and being on the upwind position, long and straight. Let's see the same action in a real-time movie. So this is the real time that you need to start. You can do it even faster than like this. Really important in the start line. Let's see it from another angle. Fix it the mainsail in the harness. Pull half of the van, hook on and trim the trapeze line. Prepare to start, pull the foot of the sail, Pull the mainsail and goes out. Move forward as soon as you can and pull the mainsails more and more. Now pull completely the vang. Trim your trapeze. Trim the Cunningham and prepare to reach your maximum speed in upwind. In the closed outlet, the main elements are to sail with the boat flat over the water and to keep always the maximum power that you can control with your momentum. To achieve this, it is necessary that the Asman steers the boat continuously, moving the rudder with small adjustment. It is also necessary that the Asman is in a position of maximum extension, if condition permitted, or otherwise he has to maintain the maximum possible momentum with the body in relation to the sail shape and power in order to produce the maximum propulsion. You may also need to adjust the trapeze wire length to maximize the leverage. Moreover, if you need to adjust some of the main sail streams as Cunningham, Vanga and Foot, it is better to move one leg out so you will continue to maintain a maximum leverage when you approach the side of the boat with the end. In fresh wind condition, as the video shows, the Asman have to adjust continuously the settings of the main sail sheet, so that must be in your end at all times.
Watching closer the crew, you see that it's never standing still, but there are a number of small movements that help the boat to go over the waves and allow to continue to maintain a dynamic balance of the boat. Indeed, the shoulders are never still and the basin is in a constant motion with small movements, so the momentum is always optimized. Also the feet are moving to shift the pressure of the weight fore and aft. So a push on the forefoot will help the boat to bear away and vice versa. If you want to change straightening, you must move up before the shoulders and then bend your knees. Of course, this movement must be done in sync with adjustment of the mainsail. When we move looking from leeward side, we see the pitching of the boat. In the contender, the dry surface of the hull is very shallow, so it is necessary to prevent the boat to impact the water as possible, keeping the boat always plain. To control the pitching, you must keep your feet between the shrouds and the main sail tower, so in light air the bow will be remain in the water, but while in strong wind the boat will be able to plane without impacting too much against the waves. Here we are reaching probably the most exciting bearing to do with contender. The important things to note is that the acceleration in this case is very bright because you always sail with the upper end wind and not only push it by as in a slow boat. So when the gust comes it's very important that we are able to start the boat bearing away while we are pumping on the main sail sheet because as the boat accelerates the wind shift forward and then we will need to push the boat toward the direction it is going through the pump. As you can see from the movement of the Hasman, bearing on a ridge is not steady. You don't have to move too much the rudder because it will slow the boat, but you have to steer using mostly the weight and the sheet. So, the movement of the rudder are always very small. The forward foot has to be rotated in the forward and aft direction, as the backward foot steps on the deck close to the transom. Then the knees have to be close together and the foot well divided, so the legs will have a shape like an inverted Y. In this manner, you will have the maximum equilibrium and the better mobility of the body weight. The length of the trapeze wire must be adjusted short enough to have the back leg knees bent with an angle bigger than 90 degrees to prevent unuseful stress. So, at this point, the combination of the feet position and the movement around the boat of your center of gravity, Ukedon, keeps the boat at the maximum speed. Van tension is really important and will be not much less intense than during a bearing upwind, especially in conditions like this, where you will surf constantly and sail always trapezing. The best training in this case is practice for many hours. Performance never scams suddenly. Step back, body pump, bear away, move forward the weight to bear away, pump the sail, start surfing, leave the boat run, love to recreate a little bit of pressure again. <laughs> 